The Audi TT is a small two-door sports car manufactured by Audi since 1998 with sitting for four passengers and is currently in its third generation. For 2016, the Audi TT comes standard with keyless start, keyless entry, cruise control, remote locking, an alarm system, a home link garage door opener, a rear parking sensor system, and automatic wipers and headlamps. TTS model adds a higher power engine, the magnetic ride suspension, wheel and brake upgrades, front and rear parking sensor, as well as Audi side assist. This year, the new 2016 Audi TT comes with a completely renovated exterior that features an LED matrix headlamp, which was inspired by the new Audi R8, the trapezoidal single frame grille, as well as the new hoods line. But it doesn't stop there. Inside, the Audi TT cabins has completely transformed into something completely different compared to previous model. It is packed with new technology. The new Audi TT also comes with an all new Audi cockpit which features a 12.3 inch driver focus information cluster that transitions from a classic display to a panoramic setting with outstanding clarity. I'll show you that once we get into the interior. Now up front, the first thing you'll notice is the lightning that help accentuate the Audi TT. Full automatically LED headlights with strikingly new design LED daytime running light, as well as LED turn signal light. Very cool looking LED headlights. High intensity retractable headlight washer, park assist, as well as cornering light are also built into the front bumper. In the middle is the newly refreshed Audi single frame grille with chrome accents around it. And the Audi following logo is no longer built into the grille but instead is now on the hood for the first time. This particular model I have here today comes upgraded with 19 inch 5 arm star design wheels with 245-35 summer tires. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs and 4 piston brake caliber for faster stopping. Body color tie view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. And here's a look to the top. Rear wheels are also 19 inches and comes with 245-35 summer tires as well. Behind the rear wheel is the internally ventilated brake disc as well as the power assisted brake caliber. It also comes with anti-lock braking system with electronic brake pressure distribution and brake assist, electronic stability control with secondary collision brake assist and traction control. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. To the back, you quickly notice the iconic LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail lights also feature the new shape LED brake light to match with the front LED daytime running light. Very beautiful tail light. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Parking sensor are also integrated into the rear bumper. Rear camera is located above the license plate and a closer look at the retractable rear spoiler which help create downforce at high speed. 
and the third LED brake light is right under the retractable spoiler and runs across the trunk lid as you can see. Okay, here I have the remote to the Audi TT. Very cool looking remote. On the remote, I have the unlock, lock, trunk release, panic button, and the Audi logo at the bottom. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. And after a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as scuba blue metallic, featuring a full black leather interior seat with diamond stitching, with white carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout. Very sporty interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, push the start button located on the center console to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Audi TT have to offer. Under the hood, you find a 2 liter turbo fuel stratify injection i4 engine with 6 speed astronic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. It also comes with quattro all wheel drive system that helps maximize available traction and bolster your confidence behind the wheel. It pushes out 220 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. It can hit from 0 to 60 in about 5.3 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 130 mile per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 23 city, 30 highway, and 26 combined. Very impressive for a 4 cylinder engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a closer look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with white carbon fiber on the door handle. Door lock and unlock. Both front windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror controlled. And it does feature folded option. Bang and Olufsen surround sound speaker, door storage compartment, Audi aluminum door seal, and there's the sport pedal. And here is a closer look at the sport seat, beautiful seat with our diamond stitching on it. It is very well padded, as you can see. Now both front seats feature 12-way power adjustable front sport seats, including 4-way power lumbar support. 
A memory system for driver seat we call two storm position for the seat and outside mirrors. Both front seats does offer heated option. And there you also have the manual thigh extension. The three spoke flat bottom design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather. Looks and feel very sporty with silver accenting trims in the middle. And I have to be honest, this steering will make you feel like you're in a super sport car. And it does feature multi-function control side by side for your convenience, with control for audio, voice command, as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Behind the steering wheel, you also have the up and down pedal shifter, so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride. And there you have the turn signal light controlled as well as the high beam controlled. There you have the cruise controlled. And steering wheel does feature manual tilt and telescopic steering column. To the right you have the windshield wiper controlled. And in the middle, you can see the all-new instrument cluster. It is all digital as you can see. And feature an all-new Audi cockpit, which feature a 12.3 inch driver focus information cluster that transition from a classic display to a panoramic setting with active. outstanding clarity. It also display all the information such as audio, navigation, setting, and etc directly in front of the driver in razor sharp brilliantly clear and high contrast quality it is a very nice feature to have and I'm very proud of Audi for this the system is very responsive as you can see and you can control everything from the steering wheel or on the center console and I have to say that this is a very big change for the new Audi TT and a very big improvement over the uh, previous model. And sound quality are not bad at all. It actually sounds very good thanks to the Bang & Olufsen surround sound system. And you can actually view the uh, instrument cluster in uh, many different ways and many different styles. You can also use the knob in the middle center console to uh, navigate through screen. And you can also swipe onto the uh, top panel of the round knob to navigate through screen as well. Everything is in front of the driver. very convenient then there you have the uh, trip reset button to the left you have the driver side air vent you can turn around to uh, change the different angle and you can press in to uh, activate the heated seat and turn the knob to uh, turn it up or down okay there you have all your light control fog light and there you have the instrument light control and down there you have the hood release lever And here's a closer look at the dash. With quarto badging on it. And here you have three circular air vents in the middle. And three knobs to uh, change the climate control. I really like how they integrated into the uh, event the knob and the control on the event 
you can press down to activate it or you can turn the knob to uh, switch to different mode which is very neat and you can slide that to uh, close the vent or open the vent down here you have the uh, drive select which you can uh, change to different driving mode from comfort, auto, dynamic and individual and when you get into dynamic mode you can hear the valve open up a little bit there you have the uh, traction on and off, emergency has a light, retractable spoiler and parking assist on and off okay here you have the uh, storage compartment with USB and auxiliary input to the right you have the on and off button as well as the volume control there's the start engine and stop engine button here is the gear shift lever it is all wrapped in leather with silver aluminum trims on it as well as S-Tronic badge on it now to put into reverse just press the unlock button and pull down for reverse and once you're in reverse the backup camera will appear on the multimedia screen which is in front of the driver with guidance line it will also move as you turn the wheel and pull it down once again for neutral and down again for drive and over to the right for manual mode and that's when you can use the uh, up and down pedal shifter located behind the steering wheel to change gear or you can also move the uh, gear lever up and down to change gear as well very simple and easy to use and here you have the navigation and map button radio and the uh, touchpad knob park and brake on and off push down to deactivate cup holder center storage compartment with another cup holder you also have a 12 volt power plug in there and you can also slide it up to glove box compartment with uh, Audi multimeter system integrated into the uh, glove box and here's a closer look at the seat with very nice upholstery material and here's a look to the back okay on top you have the three button universal garage door opener door light rear view mirror sun visor mirror alright now let's take a look at the rear seat in the back you do have sitting for two but it will be very tight in the back as you can see there's not much leg room in the back but uh, let's be real who buy this car for the rear seat space but just know that you do have two extra space in the back if two additional passenger wanna hop in and tag along but otherwise it is very tight in the back I say it can fit like a uh, small kid in the back comfortably but for an adult it will be really uncomfortable and rear seat does feature folded option you can fold it into 60 or 40 split if you need extra cargo space You also have some storage compartment for the rear passenger as well. Okay, and there you have the button for the retractable spoiler.
just press it once to close and press it again to uh, retract it and this is how it look with it completely shut and there's the uh, third LED brake light as you can see once again okay now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so the trunk in the Audi TT offer 12 cubic feet of cargo space which is pretty decent for its class and if you need more you know you can simply fold down both rear seat for more cargo space and let's see what we have here down here you have your spare tires and your tool gas cap is located on the passenger side very nice looking uh, gas cap so it does require premium unleaded fuel only and it is capless so all you have to do is uh, insert the nozzle into the fuel cap and ready to pump overall the new 2016 Audi TT is a luxury two-door vehicle with sitting for four passengers the front cabins are very spacious with great upholstery material and white carbon fiber trims as well as silver accenting trims all around. Very sporty interior. Rear seating however are very limited for this car but let's be real who would buy this car for the rear space. And there you can see the TT logo on the side. Okay and now I'm on the front passenger seat. And as you can see, I'm very comfortable sitting in the front. Any size adult could be really comfortable in the front because it, it offers a lot of uh, space in the front. And once again, I just want to show you the beautiful trims on the center console. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 Audi TT. Go ahead and leave us a comment letting everyone know what you think about the 2016 Audi TT comparing to previous model. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And I'll see you guys next time.